This is Orlando Wilson, and what I want to talk about in this video is training courses, training providers. Somebody sent me a question asking what's the best course to do. Well, best course if you want to get into the close protection business, because everybody needs some training and you need to start somewhere. Um, it's a very difficult question these days. There's some very, very good people out there running some very good courses, but they're a minority, not a majority. A lot of people out there running the courses aren't qualified to run them. They're teaching third hand knowledge they've learned from other people. They don't have the experience to run the courses. I will say, if you're looking for a training provider, look at the experience of the instructors and ensure the, ins the instructors actually have the experience to teach the courses. Now, if you're looking to do commercial close protection, the instructors should have commercial close protection experience, real experience. Being in the military is one thing, but the fact you've been in the military doesn't mean, or police, doesn't mean you know anything about close protection in the commercial world. The fact you've been in Iraq, Afghanistan, you know what, no disrespect, but that's not really applicable to guys that's going to be uh, working commercial close protection in five-star venues in London. There's many people out there teaching close protection courses, I would say never set foot in the five-star hotel, never set foot in the top restaurant. Um, they might have done PST in Iraq and Afghan, but I've said in other videos and other things to me, PSD is more in line with uh, cash and transit rather than serious commercial close protection. The gentleman that sent me the question this morning um, was asking about, is based in US, um, was asking about doing an SIA course, a British SIA course, which for those who don't know is a licensing course in the US as entry. I said, um, he showed me the course details and it's BS. The SIA course is a licensing course um, for people that want to get into the close protection business in UK. It's a mandatory course for a license. And we've all done licenses over the years, licensing courses. They tend to be very basic. The SIA course, I think it's only just brought in after how many years, conflict resolution. Um, there's no firearms, etc., etc. So it's not really applicable to the US. I said to this guy, we'll put it into context. Doing a UK SIA licensing course to work in the US, and it's not gonna be recognized in the US. You have to do the licensing and meet the licensing requirements of the state you're in, firstly. So you go to your division of licensing with an SIA course certificate and they'll be like, what the F is this? Go, go do our courses, right? Um, it's no different than if you want to learn to drive. Okay, would you go and do a British driving license course if you wanted to drive in the US? And the other thing as well, I looked at this guy's website that's offering this stuff. The guy is not accredited to offer the official SIA courses. So it's an unaccredited course that's completely worthless. The certificate, even if you turned up in UK, you couldn't get an SIA license with it because the person offering the courses is not accredited to run the courses. I'll get onto that in a second. So would you do a British driving license course to drive in the US from somebody that's not qualified to teach the official courses and you're gonna end up with a piece of paper that even if you had residency in UK and could work in UK, you could not get the SIA license with. It's BS, right? Now what a lot of people are doing, and this is what this person's doing in the US, is offering SIA course curriculum. Okay, to me it's BS because why are you going to be offering an SIA course curriculum in the US? The course is BS to start with. It's a basic licensing course. Um, as I said, it doesn't carry a couple of firearms. The only reason people offer or put on their website, yes, this is an SIA curriculum course, is because usually they're too stupid to write the course curriculum themselves. All the courses we offer we write them, I write them, and they're geared specifically towards various parts of the close protection industry, surveillance, etc. 
So if somebody's offering an SIA course outside of UK, one, you want to make sure it's actually accredited. And two, that it is that this isn't just some bozo that's made up this, that's found an SIA course curriculum and copying what's there because they're too stupid to write their own courses, which is what happens most of the time. Um, the other thing with the courses, uh, of course, is we offer, I think the maximum one's eight days, and that was for a CP course. Because the issues I've had is people find it very difficult to get the time off work to do a 140-hour course, etc. And this is something you want to consider. I remember years ago in UK, and the reason a lot of the longer courses are coming out of UK, um, the month-long courses, etc., is because people in UK can get funding for them. They can get educational grants or somebody was saying to me recently, if you're unemployed for more than three months in UK, they'll give you a CP course. So that's the quality of the course and that's the quality of a lot of people doing it. You're unemployed, you can't do anything else, go be a bodyguard. Um, so the issue is if you're looking to do a course, make sure, well, you've got to take into consideration how much the course is going to cost and while you're on the course you're not going to be earning money most people 140 hour course you're talking minimum 14 days most people cannot afford to take two weeks off work not earn and in the meantime still be paying bills and pay for a course food accommodation and everything else so take that into consideration um, the other thing make sure the course is applicable for what you want to be doing it's okay doing these uh, sexy, hostile environment courses, etc. But is that applicable to what you're doing? Are you going to be going to hostile environments? The chances are, if you're entry level in the close protection business, the answer is no. You need something that's relevant to the areas you're going to be working in. If you're working in continental US, go and do a training course with somebody that has experience of working in the close protection business in the US. Somebody that's been in the military in UK doesn't really know much about working uh, commercially in the close protection business in the US, right? Um, as I said, check things out. There's a lot of BS out there, but the gung-ho courses might look sexy, but the chances are they're not going to get you a job or be taken seriously. The one course out of UK, I think is a sham, is the close hostile environment close protection firearms course or something and it's accredited. If you look at the course curriculum, it's complete and utter BS, but somebody accredited it. And I take it the people accrediting it had no idea about firearms courses or the close protection business. So be very careful these days who you're doing your training courses with. And again, ensure the instructors actually have the experience to be teaching the courses. If it's a licensing course, ensure it's actually an accredited course and you can get the license you require. But most places you're working these days, you're going to need firearms licenses if you can work armed and security licenses. That's your starting point. There's no point going and doing all these sexy courses if you can't work locally because you don't have your state license or the security guard license, the private investigator license for the area which you're living and working in and you're based in. Um, if you start promoting that you're doing that you're a bodyguard in a lot of places without having the right licensing, you'll have the division of licensing on you and you can end up with some heavy fines if not being arrested for working unlicensed. Um, so I hope that's a little bit of advice. So if you've got any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I've got a selection of books online specifically to do with the security industry, three specifically to do with the close protection business, and we're throwing up more of these videos. If you've got any questions, please reach out to me. If you want me to do a video on something, please reach out to me, but give me time to get back to you because uh, we're a little bit busy. We've not been running training courses for about almost 12 months now because I've been traveling too much and my guys are busy. So we're looking to get our training courses going again within the next few months, but we've been hectic and we've been unable to pin ourselves down to saying, yes, we can guarantee courses that we're actually gonna be in a specific place at a specific time. But hopefully uh, we can get back into some type of schedule within the next few months. Thank you very much. Be good, be safe, stay out of trouble.